uh, Karine and John. So besides saying that he doesn't have confidence in these numbers, the president went further to say that innocents will die and that this is the price of the war. You also said that. I have indeed. Yeah. Don't you think this is insensitive? They're being very harsh criticism about it. For example, the Council of American Islamic Relations said it was deeply disturbed and called on the president to apologize. Would the president apologize and no. does he regret say something no. like that? About what's harsh, what's yeah. harsh is the way Hamas is using people as human shields. What's harsh is taking a couple of hundred hostages and leaving families in, uh, anxious, waiting and worrying to figure out uh, where their loved ones are. What's harsh is dropping in on a music festival and slaughtering a bunch of young people just trying to enjoy an afternoon. I could go on and on. That's what's harsh. That is what's harsh. And being honest about the fact that there have been civilian casualties and that there likely will be more is being honest, because that's what war is. It's brutal, it's ugly, it's messy. I've said that before. The president also said that yesterday. It doesn't mean we have to like it. And it doesn't mean that we're dismissing any one of those casualties. Each and every one is a tragedy in its own right. And each and every one we should try to prevent. And that is why we're in close contact with our Israeli counterparts, to do everything we can to help them minimize the risk to civilians uh, that are in harm's way. It would be helpful if Hamas would let them leave, leave their homes, leave, the, leave areas, not shelter in tunnels underneath their houses and in hospitals, and let them get out, let them get out of Gaza if they want to leave. We know that there are thousands waiting to, to leave Gaza uh, writ large, and Hamas is preventing them from doing it. That is what is harsh.